Yo dudes! Welcome to One Pot Paella, a class, simple, easy dish that tastes amazing. So in Ireland, most people call it paella, but uh, in Spain, where it originally comes from, it's called paella. We're doing a healthy version. We're using a short grain brown rice, super tasty, nourishing, and a uh, quick one pot dish. First step, pan on a high heat. Just watch your bottle of wine. Go up and fire. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've got about a tablespoon and a half of oil. Oh, yeah, a tablespoon and a half of oil. A generous tablespoon. Uh, we've one red onion, which we've chopped up finely. And three cloves of garlic. So I've half a red chilli. And again, if you want it spicy, include the seeds. And if you don't, leave the seeds out. We like it spicy. And if you like it really spicy, just put the whole chilli in. There it goes. Okay, so we're just going to cook that down for two minutes in a high heat. Meanwhile, with one carrot, which David is going to grate nicely. I'm going to grate it into the pan. I'm going to chop the courgette and pepper now. Again, just chop it up. We want to chop it at even, even size so it cooks evenly. Okay, so we prepped our courgette. In it goes. Beautiful. Welcome to the pan, Mr. Courgette. And we have two red peppers. So I reckon we'll probably fry these down for about three minutes until they kind of start to gr kind of cook nicely, really. Because after this, when we add all the moisture and cook it all, um, they're going to be boiled. So we want to get a bit of flavor in them now. Mm -hmm. And there was a lady commented on one of our videos saying- Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. The best time to add tomato puree is when you're adding your veg. So thank you. I don't know. I can't remember your name, but thank you for commenting. So we're, in the honor of you, we're going to add our tomato puree with the veg. So three tablespoons of tomato puree. And give it a good stir. Okay, so next up, instead of tin tomatoes, we are going fancy. We have 200 grams of cherry tomatoes. That's about 20 cherry tomatoes. But if you can't find 200 grams of cherry tomatoes, just use one full can of chopped tomatoes and you just leave it longer to boil and evaporate off. Yeah, exactly. And go le cherry tomate. Okay, time to spice things up in a traditional paella. Uh, saffron would be used. Saffron is now more expensive than gold. They say it's more most expensive kind of spice. One of the most not? spice uh, on the planet. So instead, we're not going to use saffron. We want to make this more universal. Uh, we're going to use turmeric. That's going to also we don't have any saffron. Yeah. Well, okay. So we're going to use one teaspoon of saffron. Of no, one teaspoon of turmeric. We're going to put in half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. That's going to add a nice smoky undertone and kind of a sense of um, it almost adds an oxtail or meaty like flavour. Yeah. And I think very important, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Boom. Okay, time to take this to the next level. Uh, so we've got some red wine. Uh, don't worry, the alcohol will boil off. And for anyone who's worried about vegan wine, there are many out there. Such like as this, one, this one. A barnivore, if you're wondering if wine is vegan or not, there's one called barnivore. So that's four tablespoons of red wine, or four lidfuls. Uh, and then if you've been watching our videos, you know we like this black liquid. AKA tamari. Okay, so adding in tamari, we're gonna add in two table. Oh, one. Okay, they're generous two. tablespoons. Two tablespoons of tamari. Okay, in terms of a traditional rice that's used in paella is a polished white rice. We're not gonna use that. We wanna make this whole food. So we're basing this around short grain brown rice. So see all the flavor in here now. Have a look in here. So it's full of flavor. It smells amazing. It's really good. So there's loads of flavor now once we add in our rice and our stock. I've got 500 grams of short grain brown rice. Very good. So we're gonna fry that all for a minute or two just because it's gonna start to infuse the flavor. The rice originally is gonna slightly toast and it's gonna start to absorb that flavor originally. So just stir that for a minute but or two. But make sure and keep it moving because you don't want it sticking to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so the rice now has been infused with lots of kind of just, it's slightly starting to toast and you can see it's starting to absorb some flavor. We've one and a half liters of veg stock and in it goes. Beauty. Beauty, mate. So we're still in a high heat. We're just going to leave it boil, turn it down to reduce to simmer, and uh, all the all, it'll absorb all the moisture, and then we're pretty much ready for paella. Ta da! So we cooked her away, but let it boil off for about twenty-five minutes. I'd say it took, and just make sure and taste it and taste the rice that it's not crunchy. If it is. If it, is, if it isn't quite cooked, just add a little more veg stock, say another three, 400 mil, and let it boil away for another 10 minutes. Ours is perfect in this case, but mm. every rice, it's kind of different. Mm. Mm. We, are, we love olives, we being me and Stephen. So uh, if you love olives, definitely, I find olives are fantastic. 
So we're just using a simple green olive. You could use calamata is my favorite. Uh, Dave's gone for uh, kind of old school green ones. Yeah, Cashews I find are here. wonderful. I love kind of cashew nuts. I think very important, I'm gonna squeeze in juice a half a lemon. And once I've squeezed it in like this, I'm gonna pop it in as well, just to think it presents really well with this. And lets the flavors kind of infuse again. Yeah. Final touches, a little bit of chive, chive. a little bit just garnished over the top. So there you have it, one pot paella. Took, takes about 10 minutes of cooking at the start and then 25 minutes of boiling. So class dinner, one pot wonder, highly recommend it. Mm. A lot of flavor. Really. Isn't this banging? Uh, and yeah, one of the great things about it is it tastes fantastic the next day for lunch. Mm. So this is a great dish, really hearty, really nourishing, and as you saw, it took it 25 minutes. It freezes well, it goes really well in the fridge. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and share this with anyone that you think would enjoy it. Suerte y gracias. Thank you. Cheers.